What it do, y'all? It's K, and I'm back with another review. Y'all already know what the fuck going beat on. Bitch, chick, bitch, chick, so fresh, make your bitch sweat. Ain't nobody really fucking with me at this shit. I don't really like seafood like that, but I've been here by this place called Infusion Crab Atlanta, so y'all already know I had to pull up. You know what? The pictures on outside look good, but I don't ever trust the pictures on outside. Cause motherfucker be stealing them. I can go take a picture of a bitch waist right now and put it on me. They Photoshop shit got deep. I really had to stop by because it's a black on beat, and y'all know I'm trying to put my black on beat. This is on. <laughs> Playing my shit. Now keep in mind, this is a very family oriented business. She said her 12 year old made the tea, the Kool Aid, and the lemonade. You're the owner right here. I don't know if she got a husband, so I ain't gonna say nothing. I ain't got no business saying until I get off. When food. I tell y'all, the way they present my food will rot it for Hey man, y'all, other food critics might wear. Wrap it up while it's safe. Wrap it up while it's safe. This is my shit. This is my I'm shit. I'm just playing, but be real, bro. Who got the best reviews out right now? Who the fuck got the best reviews out there? Man, they can't fuck with me. They season my shit like it was the last plate of the day. A lot of restaurants don't do this, but they give you some hand sanitizer. And it ain't the kind that smell like booty. Y'all know lately, this they, they, they new hand sanitizer they going around. Shit just stank. It smell like some shit I can't damn describe. Like some, some octopus I pussy. some crawfish, some crab legs, some potatoes, some damn corn, some eggs, some... Some broccoli, some shrimp, some I'm everything. I'm gonna start doing my reviews like a real food critic. Okay, so what we have here are the potatoes. So when you eat the potatoes, mm, I can taste the the sodium inside of the potatoes. They're they're perfect. And see here we have a shrimp. I can tell that the sh the velocity of the shrimp going inside the juice, delicious. You guys don't understand. It was delicious. Sauce. Finger licking good. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I, I I'm I'm getting fed up with these goddamn crab legs. I don't know how to crack them whole like them whole be cracking me. When I bite this part, the most meat I be getting out of this shit. I need a personal leg cracker. You do me, I do you. I crack your back. Look, I know this on top of it, but have y'all ever stepped on the crack to break your mama back on purpose? Cause uh, shit, I have. When I finally got hold to this shit, I ain't gonna even lie, y'all. They meat was good if ooh, hell nah, that shit sound gay. My fingers. It's my fingers. So I'ma lick them. Okay, cause who the fuck says something to you about licking your fingers anyways? Then nobody even say shit to you. The best part about the seafood board to me is the eggs. I hate a bitch that can't cook eggs. If you can't cook no eggs, you can't do shit. If you fuck up the eggs at the seafood board, your ass don't need to boil nothing else in your life but yourself. This is my first time eating crawfish since I found some babies in the last Literally, y'all, I had a pregnant ass crawfish and I'm sitting around here like traumatized trying to see how the fuck I'm finna raise this girl baby. But you know what? I'm gonna be quiet because I did get that pregnant crawfish from a real cheap ass place. I'm pretty sure they did not clean that crawfish. I ain't gonna lie, the second best part of the damn seafood board is the corn. It's never the seafood, it's the shit around Who it. Who in the fuck board the corn, bitch? You board that corn like that was the last corn your ass ever had to boil. Bitch, when I tell you I ate it like that was the last corn I was gonna have to eat. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I love a diverse ass place that sell more than motherfucking seafood, bitch. Why they got some macaroni and some motherfucking good ass auntie elbow ass yanks? By the way, her 13 year old made that Kool Aid and I can tell because I taste the diabetes in that shit. And when I tell you if the Kool Aid ain't got no diabetes in it, don't fucking give me none. The macaroni, busting. The yams, bitch, frack, bitch, busting. I love them yams with that thick ass swerking in my mouth. I know you're not eating all of that. You know, I can eat. Oh, okay. Yes, ma'am. Enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> Time out. Y'all don't see the side eye grandma was giving me. All right, that grandma. Don't make me get behind that dude. Hit the arthritis out there. <laughs> and for the ones that be wondering, do I really be eating so much like that? Yes, I really truly do. People around be like, damn. Man, don't let me forget to tell y'all that that motherfucker banana pussy was. Ooh. All my life, I meant to say banana pudding. The banana pudding was busting. It's the best part about it. Listen to this man's age. 19 throwing it down like shift boy ID boy I pray you be everything you want to be in life I appreciate y'all again for the great hospitality man I like how y'all did this family y'all see that man they making me feel like somebody make sure y'all go follow them on Instagram and go check them out and when y'all do say K sent you so they can give y'all uh nothing I'm trying to rebuild on my Facebook fan page so go like and share the last video that y'all see on there which will be this one and for the grown and nasty go follow me on Twitter because I be being grown and nasty and I can't lie I'm to the point where if you ain't follow me on Instagram it's obvious it's motherfucking oblivion that your ass is hating and I don't give a fuck if oblivion ain't no word it should be